Okay, so we're approaching the end of our common meaning lesson. It's only a couple more to go. This is mini lesson number six, using commas with non-essential expressions. And our rule for this lesson is use commas to set off non-essential expressions. So let's take a look at essential versus non-essential. Essential phrases are necessary to the meaning of the sentence. So if we took the phrase out of the sentence, we would lose meaning that we need in it. Um, without that essential phrase, we would not completely understand the sentence. If the phrase is essential, we do not use commas. However, if the phrase is non-essential, so it's not necessary to the meaning, then we do use commas. Uh, phrases like this might add just some extra detail to the sentence, but we could take it out. The sentence would still make sense, and we would still really have all of the necessary information that we needed. So these are the sentences that we're going to be using the commas in. Again, if the non-essential phrase comes in the middle of the sentence, we'll need two commas to set it apart from the rest of the sentence. One right at the start of the phrase and one at the end of the phrase. If the phrase or expression uh, comes either at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence, we'll only need the one comma. So it just depends upon the placement. Let's take a look at three different non-essential expressions that we might come across um, as we look at commas. First, let's look at a positives and a positive phrases. Remember, a positives give additional information about a noun in the sentence. So let's take a look at the essential sentence first. The 1943 movie Sahara takes place in North Africa. If we took out the word Sahara, we would just have the 1943 movie takes place in North Africa. Well, there were a lot of movies that were done in 1943. If I don't know that the movie is Sahara, I have no idea what in the world you're talking about. So Sahara is essential to that sentence. Now let's look at it, just slightly revised, but used in a non-essential way. Sahara, a 1943 movie, takes place in North Africa. Here you'll notice we have the phrase a 1943 movie. That gives more information about the title Sahara. That information is good to have, but it's not necessary to understand the sentence that Sahara takes place in North Africa. So, a 1943 movie is an example of a non-essential phrase, and so we set it off with commas. Next, let's look at participial phrases. Remember, participial phrases are going to start with a verb that ends with an ing. So, let's look at essential first. The man waiting in the van is our guide. Waiting in the van is our participial phrase. What happens when we take that out? The man is our guide. Well, which man? The man with blonde hair, the man with brown hair, the man standing there in a business suit? I have no clue which man we're talking about, and I need to know, because I certainly don't want to end up going with a local plumber out to the safari as my guide. I need to know who really is my guide. So, waiting in the van is an essential information piece of information to have, so no commas in that sentence. However, if we say, Pat, waiting in the van, asked us to hurry, we know specifically that Pat asked us to hurry. The fact that Pat is waiting in the van is just some additional information about Pat. It's not essential. I know the important stuff. It just gives me some extra details. So. In this case, it's a non-essential phrase, and we set it apart with commas. And let's look at one more type, adjective clauses. Essential. We need someone who can lead us to the oasis. Well, let's look what happens if we take out the adjective clause, who can lead us to the oasis. Our sentence just reads, we need someone. We need someone to do what? We need someone to bake us a cake. We need someone to drive us to the airport. 
who can lead us to the oasis is an essential piece of information, so no commas. However, we have in this sentence a non-essential adjective clause. We cheered enthusiastically for Darius, who could lead us to the oasis. We know the important information of Darius, the extra stuff, who could lead us to the oasis, just gives us more detail. We could take it out, and the sentence still makes sense, and we still have all of the essential, important information. So in this case, we do need to use the comma before the phrase starts. Okay, so just as a review, um, if the phrase or clause, so if the expression is essential, no commas. If it is non-essential, yes. Two commas if it's in the middle of the sentence, one at the start and one at the end of the phrase or clause. If it's at the beginning or the end of the sentence, we only need one comma. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know.